Hello, talking for Joshi Anime Curious. My name is Random Sama 613 and welcome to Anime Opinions. This week I'm going to be reviewing a series that not a lot of people seem to have watched, and I actually rather enjoy it, and that is C Control. The full name of the anime is C The Money of Soul and Possibility Control. It is a 2011 anime done by Tatsunoko Productions. Tatsunoko Productions hasn't done a ton of anime. I think they're best known for Gacha Man. Overall, I think that they did a decent job with this series. The basic plot is that Kimimuro Yoga, the main character, is a he's going to uh, business school, and he's going to get a, he's aiming to get a public servant job and just have a steady salary and just be a normal person. And he's living basically paycheck to paycheck, working multiple jobs. And one day he's visited by a mysterious figure known as Masakaki, and he is invited to what is known as the financial district. Now the financial district is an area where different entrepreneurs or entrees can fight each other to make money. Basically they exchange their futures back and forth in the forms of money. And when you enter the financial district your future is kept as collateral by the bank of Midas. Now the money that they get from the financial district is known as Midas money. This money is spent like normal money, it looks like normal money to everybody but the entrees. The entrees see it as black money. So it definitely it definitely is interesting, and it's a different, it's a really weird twist on some on some different tropes and stuff like that. Uh, the fights are done with the assets of the of the entrees, and these assets take on the form of whatever their future is represented by. The assets take on different forms depending upon the person's future being held as collateral. And this is the setting for the entire series. I'd say that first off, the opening, the entire soundtrack is actually very, very good. Uh, the OP, I like to, I listen to the OP every time. The ED is very good as well, even though I didn't listen to it much. And the soundtrack itself is also very, very good. The animation quality is actually very good as well. I will say that it is inconsistent though. It has a lot of frame skips and the draw, the lines aren't very consistent and the way that they're filled isn't consistent as well. Um, I'd say that the CG isn't very good because it's it, it's very very obvious and it shows, but at the same time it looks it still looks okay. Like I said, the animation itself is inconsistent. It also shows in the dub sync the dub does not sync up properly a lot of the time. Like people's lips will be moving, but they won't be speaking or the other way around, and that's definitely a detractor to the series. However, the dub itself isn't half bad. It is a generic Funimation dub, so you get the entire usual cast of Funimation people. Like, I just finished watching Spice and Wolf, and I was hearing Lawrence's voice come out of one of the other main characters, Soichiro Mikune, and I was hearing Holo's voice come out of the main character's uh, assets uh, mouth, so that was very strange to me. The two primary characters are very interesting, because you have Kimimiro Yoga, who is the main character and you get to learn more about him. I won't spoil any plot points because they are rather important. And you get to learn more about him and his past and it gets very topsy-turvy and it, this is definitely a psychological supernatural series and it's very interesting to kind of watch and see how it goes. But at the same time it doesn't have the same feel as some psychological series. On the other hand you have Suichiro Mikuni who you also get a lot of interesting backstory on. He is the basically the wealthiest man in Japan and he's done it by getting money from the financial district and pumping it into Japan's economy to try and offset the downsides to dueling in the financial district. Because when someone loses in the financial district, they lose sections of their future which changes the outside world. And if they go bankrupt and they completely lose, they lose all their money, they lose their future, and something massive changes. The more money that is lost and changes hands, the more changes in the outside world. So there are ramifications to the battles inside of the financial district. These aren't completely separate, they're completely tied together, which is also really interesting. And I haven't really seen the anime particularly do that, and I really liked, the, I really liked that aspect of it. Now, the supporting characters are interesting. You have characters from like basically the CIA, except it's the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, and that's Miss Sato, and she's very interesting also, because she is trying to stop the financial district, she's trying to completely remove the effect of the financial district on the outside world, and her boss is telling her don't do that. Because Maya's money is so integral to the world economy that it, it will take everything down with it. And then there's also the other members of the Starling Guild, which is the guild that Soichiro Mikuni runs. 
and they're all they're basically there to um, advance Mikuni's interests and advance the plot in his favor and that's all they're there for you don't really get much beyond that but they do have some interesting stuff there's also the information dealer who deal obviously deals information he's an interesting character and like I said the concept is interesting the fact that they're basically dueling with their futures and the money moves back and forth and they they're introducing a basically a fake currency into the world economy and it they, they do a lot of stuff with economics which is interesting they give you a real basic idea of how global economics works obviously it's a little overly dramatized and they kind of skew some stuff but it's still very interesting as far as an action anime goes the action sequences look good the fights are fun they're not like anything out of the ordinary for for an action anime there's three different levels of attacks for the assets there's microflations mezzoflations and macroflations they all cost more money of the uh of the entree and they do different things and it's definitely interesting to watch like I've, i keep saying it is very interesting to watch and it's a good anime i will say that the ending is awful it is terrible basically speaking the ending leaves leaves it like nothing changed nothing happened nothing mattered that's that's all i will say but it just it completely makes the anime be not as good as it could be without before the ending i was giving this a solid seven seven and a half out of 10 and now I, I'd probably have to drop it to probably around a six six and a half because the ending just is so pointless it makes everything pointless and I hate that but what did you guys think of the anime have you seen C I don't know very many people who have um, if you have go ahead and leave a comment down below tell me what you think if you think I hit the mark if you think I'm a little off go ahead like or dislike to your heart's content I do release a video every single Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time but until next week, I've been Ramsama613, this has been Anime Opinions, and until then, watch more anime.